Hi everyone, welcome back to Hey Bartender. My name is Gustavo Rojas, your personal bartender in Mexico. People, thank you so much for your likes, thank you so much for your comments, thank you so much for your subscriptions, and thank you so much for enjoying these cocktails. And I really hope that you are enjoying these videos as much as I am doing it right now. Being in Puebla, being in my hometown, it is just a delicatessen. I mean, eating, drinking, the company, my friends, my family, I mean, what can I say? I'm enjoying every second of it, and obviously I'm doing it, taking all the precautions. Let's move on, okay? Today, today we're gonna be talking about Mezcal Tres Puyas. Mezcal Tres Puyas, it is actually from here, Puebla. This is one of the states that actually brings the Mezcal. And I gotta tell you, I had the chance to actually go to the Palenque, being able to talk to the family Reyes, a special thanks to Silvestre and Blanquistela Reyes that they were like absolutely amazing. They were teaching me how actually uh, it was basically having a taste of the mezcal, understand the process of the mezcal, how do you grade the mezcal, how do you actually uh, take down the level of the alcohol content in the mezcal. And uh, I had the chance to have the uh, mezcal joven, which is uh, the one that we've been doing uh, today, or uh, cocktail, and I had the chance to try the papalometal, which is the uh, tobala grade, the great tobala, and uh, this one actually takes about 16 years. 14 years to be a full mature, and then they start doing the process. This family, be, they've been doing uh, this mezcal here in Puebla, in uh, San Luis La Mesa, uh, San Diego La Mesa, I'm sorry, San Diego La Mesa, um, Tochimilzingo, which is a really hard word to pronounce. But uh, the uh, the Papado Metal, it is the endemic name for the Tobala here in the state of uh, Puebla. And uh, well, uh, that being said, let me show you how we're gonna be making some mezcal tuna cocktail. Please stay with me. Let me show you how we do this little bad boy. You guys gonna enjoy. All right, so tuna. This is actually, if I remember well in English, it is the perk of pear. Uh, if I remember well, I'm not sure I remember that it is the perk of pear, but uh, Anyway, the name here in Mexico is Tuna, and we're gonna be doing an amazing cocktail with mezcal. So check this out. We're gonna go for an ounce and a half per each cocktail. We're gonna be making two cocktails for my lovely comadre and my adorable compadre that is behind the camera right now. So ounce and a half of mezcal. You wanna go for two ounces of simple syrup. You know you make simple syrup, definitely gonna use one cup of sugar by one cup of water. Boil it, let it simmer, and that's it. Lime juice, we're gonna use one ounce per cocktail, so we're gonna use two ounces here. We're gonna add orange juice, two ounces as well. and we're gonna put some tuna in it. Picture that you're gonna have a whole tuna, a whole pickle pear, obviously peeled. Just slice it. And put it in there. Let's give it some more. Make sure that you break the entire pickle pear in the process. It is very easy. It's gonna break down very easy. And uh, it is up to you if you want to do a double strain or leave it with the entire pulp in it, which is not gonna be anything bad. You might like to have some something to chew if you come. And let's make sure that we have ice all the way up for a cup. Give it a good shake. Double strength. That's my foot. 
take your time with this guy because there's a lot of seats in it and obviously they're going to be clogging your first string. Be patient. You're gonna put some pieces of it in there. And there you have it, guys. Have the break of air, mezcal cocktail. Salud para todos. This is part of the actual road in San Luis, San Diego, La Mesa, Tochimilcingo. Hey everyone, welcome back to Hey Bartender. My name is Gustavo Rojas and today we are actually sending you this beautiful video from San Diego, La Mesa, Tochimilcingo. To, what's the name Tochimil again? Tochimilcingo. 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 In the estado de Puebla. This is uh, basically you are like a 30 minutes uh, east from the city of Atlisco because it is uh, one of the main producers of mezcal. And actually, I just leave the actual mezcal palenque uh, where they actually the process and they distill the mezcal. So, what is special about this location, you guys? It is amazing. And check this out this is five generations. We are talking about 250 years of tradition. It's staying in the family. And we have like a great, great conversation with, uh, uh, with Silvestre and Blanca Stella, which is the uh, daughter of the owner. Unfortunately, the owner was not here, but hopefully I'm gonna have the chance to come up across with him pretty soon. And uh, it, this is very, very special because a lot of people that they just getting into the actual mezcal taste, you know, the mezcal world, and they don't know what mezcal is. So, well, there is a lot of process, like I've been talking in a few um, videos. But uh, then there is uh, some other stuff that you don't know, like uh, how to define or when do you know if the mezcal is ready, how do you gonna actually level the uh, level of alcohol in the mezcal? How do you know what those barrels look like and what is it, that process? So it is very interesting to know all these facts. Like for instance, how many liters do you get out of one ton of agave? In this case, uh, for the espadín, uh, according with Silvestre, they get approximately 80 to 90 lit liters per one ton of uh, agave and per season they go up to 28 tons so it's amazing but also they have something that is called the pechuga which is the uh, chicken breast this guy actually it is cooked with a chicken in the process of the distillation and uh, amazingly they lose approximately five liters in every 20 liters so there's a lot of variations in this kind of a process but everything is just 100 percent crafted product and we're gonna be shooting a videos a couple a couple of videos tonight with the special ingredients from this region my hometown I really really hope that you enjoy this talk so if you appreciate that black mountain on your upper left area of the video that is Don Goyo that is the biggest volcano in central Mexico and the name is Popocatépetl aka Don Goyo which is actually the nickname that the actual people from uh, the state uh, given to the actual big volcano. 